Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Kennedy Center. This is the Millennium Stage, our daily free performance series brought to you by Target. We are here at 6 p.m., seven evenings a week, 365 days a year to present the best in music, dance, theater, and more. And if you're unable to join us in person, we invite you to visit us online at www.kennedy-center.org. There you can log on and watch a streaming live webcast of each night's performance at 6 o'clock and also choose from thousands of past Millennium Stage performances in our broadcast archive. I want to take a quick moment to mention that the music being performed tonight, much of it is available on a CD in the back, also vinyl record. And uh, without further ado, won't you please help me welcome to the stage performing the music of Georges Brassens, ladies and gentlemen, Pierre de Gaillard, and Bad Reputation. Thank you. Good evening. How are you doing? All right. Like he said, we're playing the music of Georges Brassens. Some of you may know who he is. He's a, uh, he was a poet, troubadour, singer, anarchist, figurehead of French culture that um, existed in, um, was active in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s in France and was a sort of towering figure of French culture and not very well known outside of, of the French speaking language. For the last three years I've been translating his uh, texts and adapting his songs into English um, to bring this amazing world that he created to people who might not understand it or know about it. And so we're doing the songs of Georges Brassens. The name of the uh, project is Bad Reputation, which is also the name of one of Brassens' songs, La Mauvaise Reputation. And we're really excited to be here in D.C. We're from Brooklyn, New York. In a shabby side of Paris behind a bold boulevard There's an old bistro tended by a horrid Bull slaw. If you're tasting wines only for the fine fancy glass, have a chug of this little jug of bliss full of spite. But if your gullet can take a bullet in the night, drink some other place, the nectar you'll taste here's too light. At this whistle stop, the cream of the crop overflows. Every old juice head and better off dead comes and goes. They spawn like salmon just to examine on the job. The bell of the bar, the wife of this horrid bull slob may i drink every last drop of the sea's salty juice if after you see her you're not completely seduced by this genie who turned a dive into a chateau with her sexy bait all her tempting traits in a row exquisite gems who embraces them in this mob really it's too much all this for the clutch of this slob it's unjust and crazed but what can be said or be done they say love is blind and it just might find anyone if you feel the need to flirt best be brief and polite make no sudden moves mind your p's and q's or she'll strike her quick smacking hand will punish any man who trespass not yet born are those who will put their nose in her glass Yet born is he who will thaw a piece of her 
her eyes. He has not been born who will fondle this fat slob's wife. The shabbiest square of poor Paris So it goes There's a genie who turned a dive into a chateau Thank you so much Like I said, the name of the band is Bad Reputation And this is the namesake of the song uh, The song that the project's named after La Mauvaise Reputation. In my corner of the nation, I have a bad reputation. Whether I speak or I shut up, they treat me like a you-know-what. Yet I do no damage to anyone. Following the road of the simple tongue. But good folks don't appreciate someone whose path may deviate. No good folks don't appreciate someone whose path may deviate. Everyone likes to curse at me, except the mutes, obviously. The morning of Independence Day, my cozy bed is where I lay. The music of the marching bands doesn't impress me worth a damn. Yet I mean no one any harm at all when I shut my ears to the bugle call. But good folks don't appreciate someone whose path may deviate. Good folks don't appreciate someone whose path may deviate. They point the finger right at me. Except, of course, the amputees. When I cross a thief on the run to chase by angry Farmer John, I stick out my foot as they pass, and Farmer John lands on his ass. Yet it's not my wish to cause any grief by championing the cause of the petty thief. But good folks. Don't appreciate someone whose path may deviate. No good folks don't appreciate someone whose path may deviate. The mob will chase me with their flames, except of course for all the lame. No need to be Jeremy to see where my story leads. If they find a suitable rope, they will slip it around my throat. Yet I do no damage to be. I shun the path to the Vatican But good folks don't appreciate Someone whose path may deviate Non, les braves gens n'aiment pas que l'on suive une autre route que The world will watch my hanging day Except the blind Or so they say Thank you, thank you Brassens was um, sort of this outsider of French culture, but he was embraced as an insider. He was sort of in, in both places, which I think it's much easier to be in France. Somehow it works smashingly. People who see upside down think the benches around the sidewalks and the streets are made only for the impotent or the obese but it's an absurdity for in reality these venerable seats are there to accommodate young lovers when they meet young lovers kissing on park benches publicly 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 not giving the slightest damn for the honest people's stairs. Young lovers kissing on park benches publicly, 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 saying I love you pathetically. Look pretty nice if you ask me. As they sit there holding hands, they speak of future plans of sky blue wallpaper that will dress the pretty walls of their nuptial bedside. They see what tomorrow knows He's smoking while she sows Their happiness assured While deliberating the name Of their firstborn child Young lovers kissing on park benches Publicly, publicly, publicly Not giving the slightest damn For the honest people's stares Young lovers kissing 
John Clark benches publicly, 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 saying I love you pathetically. Look pretty nice if you ask me. When the noble what's their names happen to contemplate two of these so and so's, they never hesitate to toss out some venomous names. Though the entire family clan, the mom, the girl, the dad, the son, the Holy Ghost, wouldn't mind once in a while behaving just the same. Young lovers kissing on park benches publicly, 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 not giving the slightest damn for the honest people's stare. Young lovers kissing on park benches publicly, publicly. Publicly saying I love you pathetically look pretty nice if you ask me when the heady months have ceased when they will have appeased all of their burning dreams when the sky grows heavy with the darkening clouds above they will sadly come to see that it was on these streets upon these famous seats that they live the greatest moments of their budding love. Young lovers kissing on park benches publicly, 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 not giving the slightest damn for the honest people's stares. Young lovers kissing on park benches publicly, 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 saying I love you pathetically. Look pretty great if you ask me. I don't know if there's any, there are any French people in the audience, but um, sometimes I, I gauge if there are French people in the audience by if they're singing along in French to the, to the lyrics. I'm not hearing any of that, of that but feel free if you're here. <laughs> or yell out the names of your favorite songs. Um, it's really nice to be here at the Kennedy Center. What a beautiful space. The last time we were here, some, the last time I was here and some of my musicians were here, we were playing at a very different space called the, the 930 Club. But uh, this is fun. It's nice. You guys are a little different audience than the 930 Club, but we're digging it. It's good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This one's called Don Juan. Don't you all. Glory to him who steps hard on his brakes for fear of squashing a hedgehog or unsuspecting deer. And glory to Don Juan for having smiled upon this unappealing girl who no one seemed to want. She's a very nasty girl, I gotta have her now. Glory to the cop who made all the traffic wait to let the poet's cats walk back under the gate. And glory to Don Juan who made a rendezvous with this rejected wretch that no love ever knew. She's a very nasty girl, I gotta have her now. To the good man who doesn't sing along when the dejected mob cries out to lynch someone. And glory to Don Juan for his sweet ovations to she who no one had ever proposition. She's a very nice girl, I gotta have her now. Who gave his foes rescue during the massacre of St. Bartholomew? And glory to Don Juan, who kissed the blushing face of she who lived without a single warm embrace. She's a very nice girl, I gotta have her now. Glory 
to the GI who threw away his gun rather than have to shoot a prisoner on the run. And glory to Don Juan for having stroked the thigh of the old maid who'd never even kissed a guy. She's a very nasty girl, I gotta have her now. Glory to the nun who, in winter's deepest freeze, defrosted the penis of the poor amputee. And glory to Don Juan for his fond attention to a neglected ass only used for sitting. She's a very nasty girl, I gotta have her now. Glory to the man who, having no sacred mores, contents himself with not pissing off his neighbor. And glory to Don Juan, who brought the carnal sin to she who, God forbid, would have died a virgin. She's a very nasty girl, I gotta have her now. sure what words are okay to say in the Kennedy Center, but you know, you can say those words on TV, so I'm pretty sure JFK would have said those words in his time. Les copains d'abord, ça va venir, ça va venir. Merci. We're going to do another one. I appreciate the, 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 the I asked for requests and I received. We're going to do another one called Philistines, which is about... Um, very, very sad news that happens if your children are born and they become account they become poets. <laughs> Businessmen, Philistines, while you fondle and your wives as you dream of the tykes that your grossest appetites beget you think they will become freshly shaven and rotund To punish you fully One day you will witness the advent Of unwanted progeny Who in time become hairy poets And you think they Freshly shaven and rotund accountants, but to punish you fully, one day you will witness the advent of unwanted progeny, who in time become hairy poets. Thank you so much. We're singing the songs of Georges Brassens. If you know him, you love him. If you don't, you love him. <laughs> um, this next one's called Give Them All a Kiss. In French, Embrasse les tous. These are, um, a lot of these songs are very, very difficult to translate. They're little word puzzles, and there's a lot of rhymes. They're kind of like, to me, they, they remind me of hip hop, because they're really rhymy, very rhyme crazy. So this is like 
We're bringing Ice Cube to the masses. This, this next one's called Give Them All a Kiss. You're not one of those who dies where she's attached You rub your cheek against every mustache Have to wake up early just to find the fellow who Never dealt with you Open door to any person in your scene Artichoke heart anyone can have a leaf Never has a turnstile in collective memory Spun so frequently From Pierre to Paul Not to mention Mr. Smith and Jones Give them all a kiss, give them all a kiss God will recognize his own Use your weapons on them all Keep them all under your thrall Until one of them with open arms Gives up the ghost to your charms Tall ones and short Even Lilliputians fully grown Give them all a kiss, give them all a kiss God will recognize his own until love has been achieved And he's praying for reprieve Till his heart's an open wound That will not heal too soon While you wait to hit the bullseye with your kiss Hit the target on the mouth that doesn't miss while you wait in vain among these suitors in a row For the true white crow While you wait for happiness to close your doors To lock up your shutters and to sell the store By marking upon it closed until the end of days Love has had its way from Pierre to Paul Not to mention Mr. Smith and Jones Give them all a kiss, give them all a kiss God will recognize his own Use your weapons on them all Keep them all under your thrall Until one of them with open arms Gives up the ghost to your charms Tall ones and short Even Lilliputians fully grown Give them all a kiss Give them all a kiss God will recognize his own And so all your gallivanting All your flirting and your rambling across the floor will be forgiven for when a girl says I love you it's like being born anew it gives her heart a healing patch as if her egg just hatched thank you thank you we have like like as was announced earlier we do have a CD out with a bunch of these songs on them and a vinyl seven inch record made out of plastic with grooves on it that you put in your record player. <laughs> Thank you. How's, how's everyone doing out there? Are you guys comfortable? You all right? You happy? I'm really happy up here. It's fun. It's fun to stare at the gigantic head of John F. Kennedy. I don't know if you guys noticed it, it's back there. This is a song about prostitution. I know there's kids in the audience, but they need to learn these things. I didn't write them, so that's my excuse. Although these bourgeois pigs prefer, although these bourgeois pigs prefer to call them ladies of leisure, to call them ladies of leisure, it's not every day they relax. In fact, in fact, it's not every day they relax. For even with their pedigree, for even with their pedigree, to spend the days walking the streets, to spend the days walking the streets, can really be hell on the gams. God damn, god damn, can really be hell on the gams. Not only are their bunions sore, not only are their bunions sore, and they have blisters on their corns. They have blisters on their corns. It's crazy the number of shoes they use. 
shoes they use. It's crazy the number of shoes they use. These filthy Johns who cross their paths, these filthy Johns who cross their paths, they hardly ever take a bath. They hardly ever take a bath, but still they have to be enticed. Oh Christ, oh Christ, but still they have to be enticed. be taken by the hand they must be taken by the hand and led into the promised land and led into the promised land she certainly earns every dime oh my oh my she certainly earns every dime they are despised by everyone they are despised by everyone they're manhandled by cops for fun manhandled by cops for fun and menaced with syphilis too it's true it's true they're menaced with syphilis too though they make love all day in bed though they make love all day in bed and 20 times a day they wed and 20 times a day they wed they never partake of the bliss i promise i promise they never partake of the bliss you sons of vapid women born you sons of vapid women born don't give this poor venus your scorn give this poor venus your scorn this poor old bag in disrepair i swear i swear this poor old bag in disrepair My brother, it wouldn't take much, my brother, for this whore to be your mother, for this whore to be your mother, this whore that you mock and disdain, for shame, for shame, this whore that you mock and disdain. Thank you so much. This next song is um, called Penelope. It's based on the Ulysses myth of Penelope and Ulysses. Penelope's the long-suffering wife that waits for him while he's off doing battle. Um, and, but this is kind of recast as like a suburban, modern suburban tale. And I'd like to introduce the, this fabulous band up here, if I may. We have um, Ken Thompson on the bass clarinet over there in three. This is Dave Spinley on the clarinet. <laughs> Christian Bongers on the bass. <laughs> and this is Quentin Jennings on the piano, charango, and xylophone. <laughs> My name is Pierre de Gaillon, or if you're from California, Pierre de Galandi, <laughs> which I used to be. All right, this next one's called Penelope. Have you never? 
never called out in your thoughts undeclared for the meaningless fling that pulls you by the hair and whispers sweet nothings in your face and plants wild daisies in your vegetable lot and chaos in your silken lane and chaos in your silk and lace have you not wished to meet in passing once again this angel this demon who with his bow in his malignant arrows fly who returns woman's flesh to the coldest statue upends their pedestals and upsets their virtue and rips their leaf right off the vine and rips their leaf right off the vine that the sky will hold you to account there's not enough room here to swing a heart about beating a path to distant fields it's the venial sin the communal disgrace it's a dark hidden side of the honeymoon space, the ransom of Penelope, the ransom of Penelope. Thank you so much. This next song is called The Princess and the Troubadour. It's um, about, it's about, I think this is the blueprint for every French film that was ever made. It's about a very, a much older man and a much younger woman <laughs> having an illicit almost affair. stood on this site this was the district that thrives in the night a hidden hovel of vice and deceit these ruins would never be a landmark and all the creatures that dwell in its dark they were the finest flower they were underground hustlers and losers and roustabouts beggars competing in damage and strife broken down race horses deviants galore not to mention a cut rate troubadour a shipwreck clinging onto his guitar She crawls 
falls on his lap after closing the door. Blushing a little, she says with a sigh, it's you that I want, and you may, if you like, kiss me on the mouth. That's not my style I don't have the makings of a pedophile You're only 13 And I'm almost 30 years old That's a big difference And I see no point In spending the rest of my days in the joint She answers, oh troubadour I will not tell a soul It, girl comes his mocking reply first off you're not my type and besides my heart already belongs to a woman so princess burst into tears as she fled so princess ran as she bitterly wept feeling the burning sting of her fur Corruption of minor did not take place. The singer at dawn without leaving a trace made his escape in the back of the broken down cart. Of an old farmhand while strumming a tune, but 20 years later, passing by the same room. A twinge of regret deep down in his heart. Thank you. This next song is called Le Vin. It's about wine. This is one of the songs that has incredible amounts of internal rhymes and um, rhymes within rhymes and rhyme, rhymes all over the place. And I've been, um, as I've been doing this, I've, been try, I've tried to be very, very um, respectful of the rhyme scheme and meter and, and meaning within each line. So it's, it's been kind of like this puzzle. It's a, it's a wild ride, but here we go. Wine. Before I begin to sing my life in this verse In my aching head, my tongue made of lead will curse I come from a type of people not quite so sober They say I was weaned on juice that is gleaned in October my parents did find me under a vine, or so it goes. Not the cabbage patch, like all of those average Joes. Instead of warm blood, my veins tend to run so nobly. With liquor that spills fresh out of the still most probably. One's wise and old and knows how to hold one's booze. One keeps in his grip if he needs a sip, a pair or two, a pair in the shape of a jug, a great big bottom of the fattest ilk, replete with the milk of in hell, the ancients do tell that Tantalus was tortured and weak when no water reached his esophagus to 
who thirst for water, there's nothing harder or quite so sad. Except to need wines at least 20 times as bad as. drip with the staining essence if cows made red wine I'd milk them in time for breakfast imagine what time the scent flowed with wine tomorrow the entire town would run there to drown their sorrow I made myself small. Je me suis fait tout petit. Um, Georges Brassens um, lived with, he was virulently anti, uh, sort of anti conformist, anti everything that you can be anti, anti marriage, but he lived with the same woman for like 30 years. And this is a song he wrote for her. She was a German woman and her nickname was Pupchen, Little Doll. This is a song for the small doll, the little doll. on her lap each time she calls I was a mad dog and she let me eat out of her hands now I have a mouth full of baby teeth instead of fangs I made myself small in front of a doll who falls asleep with her eyes shut small in front of a doll who calls out mama every time she's touched I was a tough piece of steak up until she came around up until I felt tender hot and still into her mouth Flashing all those pearly whites when she smiles and when she sings. But beware her fangs when she shows her ire when she's unhinged. I made myself small in front of a doll who falls asleep with her eyes shut. I made myself small in front of a doll who calls out mom. Every time she's touched Now I watch my step and follow the rules of her domain Though her jealousy has no normal use for self-restraint 
once a periwinkle diverted my gaze as we strolled and so this pretty flower met her demise by parasol I made myself small in front of a doll who falls asleep with her eyes shut I made myself small in front of a doll who calls out mama Every time she's touched All the sleepwalking fortune tellers warned me Without spite That upon the cross of her outstretched arms Would end my life There are better ones and there are worse things But all in all What's the difference where the scaffold swings If one must fall Je me suis fait tout petit devant une poupée Ferme les yeux quand on la coule Je me suis fait tout petit devant une poupée Qui fait maman If I sang one in French, how would that be? I'm going to sing. This is one of Georges Brassens' most famous songs. It's called Chanson pour l'Auvergnat. He wrote it for uh, the couple that he lived with for 22 years in a cold water squat, <laughs> not a squat, but a hovel in uh, Paris. Um, he lived there for 22 years, even when he became the most famous singer in France, and he, he, was, he felt very comfortable there. There were a lot of cats there. He loved cats. <laughs> anyway, this is a song he wrote for them. It goes like this. Elle est à toi, cette chanson. Toi, l'Auvergne, qui sans façon m'a donné quatre bouts de bois quand dans ma vie il faisait froid. Qui m'a donné du feu quand les croquantes et les croquants, les gens bien intentionnés m'avaient fermé la porte au nez. Ce n'était rien qu'un feu de bois, mais il m'avait chauffé le corps et dans mon âme il brûle encore à la manière d'un feu de joie. L'Auvergnat quand tu mourras Quand le croque-mort t'emportera Qu'il te conduise à travers ciel Ô Père éternel Elle est à toi cette chanson Sois l'hôtesse qui sans façon M'a donné quatre bouts de pain Quand dans ma vie il faisait faim ta huche quand les croquantes et les croquants les gens bien intentionnés s'amusaient à me voir jeûner ce n'était rien qu'un peu de pain mais il m'avait chauffé le corps et dans mon âme il brûle encore à la manière d'un grand festin quand tu mourras, quand le croque-mort t'emportera, qu'il te conduise à travers le ciel, ô Père éternel. Elle est à toi cette chanson, ton étranger qui s'en façon, d'un air malheureux m'a souri lorsque les gendarmes m'ont pris. Qui n'a pas applaudi quand les croquantes et les croquants, tous les chants bien intentionnés, 
Et de me voir emmener Ce n'était rien qu'un peu de miel Mais il m'avait chauffé le corps Et dans mon âme il brûle encore À la manière d'un grand soleil Toi l'étranger quand tu m'auras Quand le croque-mort t'emportera Qu'il te conduise à travers le Ô oh Père éternel Hey, thank you so much For those of you just uh, arriving We're called Bad Reputation We're singing the songs of Georges Brassens Who's a poet troubadour from France And uh, we've been translating his songs into English And having a great time doing it This one's called The wind, le vent. If by chance, when you're in France, the mischief winds should howl again, hey lady, hang on to your hem. And if by chance, when you're in France, the raving wind begins to blow, mister, hang on to your chapeau. The low lifes in the stuffed shirts, damn the furious howling wind that unshingles roofs on branches, trees, and blows up skirts. For these low lifes and stuffed shirts, I can tell you that the wind doesn't give the slightest puff of prejudicial spin. And if by chance, when you're in France, the mischief wind should howl again, hey lady, hang on to your hem. And if by chance, when you're in France, the raving wind begins to blow, mister, hang on to your chapeau. Of course, if you only trust what you see with your own eyes, the wind is a brute whose punishment is never just. But a closer look reveals that he chooses far and wide only victims of his game who have something to hide. And if by chance, when you're in France, the mischief wind should howl again, hey lady, hang on to your hem. And if by chance, when you're in France, the raving wind begins to blow, Mr. Hang on to your If wind should howl again, hey lady, hang on to your hem. And if by chance, when you're in France, the raving wind begins to blow, Mr. Hang on to your chapeau. All right, thank you so much. We're having fun. I'd like to thank, I'd really like to thank um, all the organizers of this wonderful. Um, music music series i guess they have music here every night this is really great thank you diane thank you matt thank you greg for the sound and um kennedy center for having us it's been really great
I'd like to thank Jackie O as well. Jackie, she was a long-suffering wife. <laughs> Nobody ever thanks her, you know? <laughs> Doing it. Um, speaking of, oh, let's do Lico Pandabal. All right, this is a, a song called Lico Pandabal, Friendship First. It's about a boat it's called Friendship. <clears throat> not the simple raft of the Medusa, this fine craft proclaim it from each port of call, from each port of call. It sailed gently in the breeze on the big duck pond past the trees. Its name was Friendship First of All, Friendship First of All. Its motto floats but never sinks, was never spoken with a wink. Whatever evil tongues let fall, evil tongues let fall. Captain and the crew, there were no traitors, just friends who flew the fine banner that they call friendship first of all. They were not born with silver spoons or tempted by Gamora's tune. Castor and Pollux never called, no, they never called. They were not friends from poetry books, sometimes they swung a few right hooks, but none of their punches hurt at all. Friendship first of all. Were no angels, just kids who had never read their Bible through, but got the message one, all message one and all. John, Peter, Paul, and company, it was their only litany, it was their creed, their hymn, their call, friendship first of all. At the first sign of dire straits, the wheel was picked up by the mates and steered a course to make land fall, to make land fall. Was in distress, or if he sailed an SOS, no one ignored the signal call. Friendship first of all. A rendezvous was seldom missed by anyone on the good list. If someone didn't make roll call, he was dead, that's all. And in the sea of time that flows, they never let the waters close upon his memory. Most of all, he is mourned by all. We don't know those two that you that you yelled out. I'm sorry to say. I'm sorry to say that one either. That one's in the works. Can we can we say bad words in here? No. I hear some no. 
Okay, we'll do the go let's do the goi. Okay, we're gonna do like the gorilla. Actually, this is one of Georges Brassens' most famous songs. It's about a gorilla. I liked it. It's about a gorilla that, like a lot of these songs, it's they're about forces of nature that seek out those who, in their hearts, are evil and do evil to them. So I'd like to dedicate to this to all the Republican candidates. <laughs> The bars of a large enclosure, the village ladies intently stared Where a gorilla with massive composure was impassively combing his hair They were shamelessly interested, eyeing devoutly a certain spot But my mother's especially requested I refrain from telling you what That's French for beware of the gorilla the doors of the circus lockup where the noble brute had been put by an administrational cock-up was unwisely left unshut. I'll lose it today, he cried, swinging lissomely out of his cage. Referring, of course, to his chastity, he was just at that difficult age. Calgary! very same ladies who previously had been licking their lips from afar fled in panic which shows how devious and whimsical women are in the path of the lovesick monkey there were two who wouldn't budge a little old lady all shrunken and a petty sessions judge girl said it would be surprising and unlikely in the extreme if anyone found me appetizing and beyond my wildest dreams the judge intoned with tranquility to take me for a female ape would be the height of improbability even judges make mistakes brother gorilla choice were up to you to ravish a judge or a granny and you didn't know which to do if i were in such a position and the choice had to be mine i'd beg the old lady's permission but go for grandma every time Though the gorilla is very proficient in the role of the paramour, his mental equipment's deficient and his eyesight's awfully poor. With a paleolithic leer, he gave the old lady the miss, and grabbing the judge by the ear, gave him an introductory kiss. The gorilla's desires were more or less gratified The judge, being rather biased, couldn't see the funny side He was kicking and screaming and wailing when his moment of truth had come Like the wretches he orders daily to be taken away and hung Gobble Thank you everyone, it's been a lot of fun Good night.